at the front entrance of Legoland is where the Legoland Hotel is located. And it is so cool. It's so colorful and there's these little drawings on the outside of it that just draw so much attention. It's the first thing you see when you come in. Yeah, and we've definitely got to make a trip to stay there someday. Go that was, <laughs> yes, that looks like it might be more fun for us than Vivian. I don't yeah. think she cares. I want to take you to Legoland. Good job. So this is the first time that Vivian has been to Legoland. I wish I had had a video to watch before we came to Legoland because I didn't know what Legoland was. I didn't know if it was a place you went um, and just looked at a bunch of different Legos. I didn't know it had rides. So we hope this video helps somebody, somebody like me that needed some guidance and perspective. And if you're just now joining us on Aiken Adventures, then we are taking you to do all the best things and all the best places all around Florida. If you like that kind of content, then you're going to want to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida. Now, as you know, the Florida theme parks can be pretty expensive, but Undercover Tourists is a great company that we work with in order to provide discounted uh, theme park tickets. A link in the description below will guide you to their website and you'll be able to find theme park tickets for Legoland, for Disney World, and uh, Universal Studios and all the other theme parks in Central Florida. Hey Vivian, we're going on an adventure. Wee, yeah. You want to go to Legoland? Have you Hello. ever been to Legoland before? Good, how are you? And then once it's approved, you can take it out, okay? okay. I'll give you yours, awesome. you Thank you. Yay. It's a little cold and windy today. It's cold and we're trying to figure this out. This is Florida, it should not be 60 degrees. <laughs> I'm kind of glad though, because I was not really excited about coming here if it was super hot. Yeah, it's better that it's a little chilly than to be sweltering. Baby, where are you going? Bye. So the first thing we saw was the carousel and there's a huge line because it just opened but we can't pass it up because it's Vivian's favorite. So we're waiting for the carousel. The carousel line is so long. Yeah. Here we are. A really long line. They're, because they're not putting very many people on it. Keeping everybody stays out. Yay, we're moving! I think we might be next. We might actually get on. I'm so excited. 
I called it. I knew it. I said, watch, we're going to get stopped right as they cut people off. And we did. We're the very next ones in line. I called it. Oh, well, we'll go on the next time around. No big deal. Pick. No big deal. We also noticed that the line is getting much, much longer than it was when we first came through. And our initial idea was that we might would skip the carousel and come back. But it looks like that there's no cutting the line. <laughs> I think we made a good decision. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's our turn. We're going next. Yay. It's our turn. We're going next. Yay. Hey, Vivian, do you want to go up top or do you want to stay on the bottom? Okay. Yay, we're moving! Finally! Yay! So much fun! <laughs> wow, that was so much fun! Yay! Can you clap? Yay! <laughs> I'm so dizzy right now. I know. Like, Where's I was, you? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're going to head off to Duplo Valley now because I think that there might be some things in there that are Vivian sized to ride. We're off to ride the tractors! Yay! Oh my goodness, these lines are so long! We spend our whole day waiting in line. So long. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Alright, we've been waiting forever. Yeah. But we're next! We're next! And Yay. then we're gonna eat. We're excited. Yes. Okay, actually what happened was that everybody else ahead of us was next and that we were not next. We got stuck again. <laughs> but now we're next. <laughs> so I have to wait for these people to finish. So now it's Yay! our turn. Yay! Yay! Too bad this tractor doesn't have a cell phone charger. Yeah, that would be convenient. <laughs> All right, Vivian, it's lunch time. You ready? Are you hungry? All right. We're passing by the carousel line again, and it's even longer than it was before. I'm glad that we made the oh decision my goodness. that we did. Such a long line for the carousel. Unbelievable. All right, we found a we found an all-you-can-eat pizza pasta place. We're about to eat. We're about all. to eat all we can at the pizza pasta place. So there's a sign on the door that says this location is closed for the day. I don't know what that means, but it's not good. All right, we've wandered into another section of the park and I smell food cooking. There has to so be food somewhere. There's got to be some food somewhere. <laughs> All right, so we're wandering through another land. And the we're search, on a food hunt. The search for food continues. All right, the sandwich food truck is also closed. Oh man, Legoland, get it together. Okay, so we finally found a place. It's the burger place. And um, after we walked by the Ninja Kitchen place and it was still closed as well. But now we've got to walk all the way down to the end of this huge long line in order to get to the burger place because 
apparently we're not the only ones who realize that this is the only place that's open on this part of the park. Yeah, not good. So the line was really, really long and one of the workers came by and let us know that because the lines are so long right now for uh, lunch and dinner places that they're letting guests who do not have water park tickets go into the water park to eat at the brick and whatever, brick and beef grill or yeah, whatever it's what a good Samaritan. <laughs> Yeah, so let us in for the restaurant oh and there's no line for the uh, for the water park restaurant. Yes. Thanks to that guy, whoever you are. Yes, you are the real MVP. MVP. <laughs> well, I don't know how long we've been standing here, but like forever. Like 15, um, so, uh, <laughs> it's terrible. All right, our food has finally arrived. It only took us like an hour to find a place that was actually and then and then to go through the line they didn't even have any customers and it took them forever uh but anyway <laughs> and this place is not cheap either though like what we got it cost us 37 dollars so almost 40 bucks what All you right. got i got a cheeseburger lettuce and tomato french fries and probably a 10 dollar bottle of water <laughs> it was three it was a three dollar bottle of water. Uh -huh. all right i got the chicken tenders and uh, some french fries this is a $10 meal right here. All he knows is $11. Uh, but I also got a Coke Zero. What you got, baby? Tell daddy. Baby, tell us about your food. I want... What's this? Yeah. What's that? This is the toilet. Mm, and what's that? This is the burger. Okay, so there is a pirate show that's going on at uh, in just a few minutes, it's like 1.30 right now, and that's going on at 2. So that gives us enough time to try to find it. And uh, let's see if we can. All right, Yay. we're getting ready to see the pirate show. We're seated, and it's going to start soon. I'm so excited. Are you excited, Viv? You ready for the pirate show? She's ready to take a nap, to be honest, yeah, but it's almost nap she time. can after this. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting! Yay! Yay! Yay. Well, I'm Sandy Rixies, Captain Brickbeard's Water Sports Stunt School! Give me a time! <laughs> Always waiting for folks!
Brandon, that was so much fun. Did you like it? <laughs> Again, nap time. After the show, you can get a picture with the cast. Doesn't that sound like fun? I am so excited about the Cypress Garden section of the park. Yes, me too. I came here with my grandmother years ago, and I remember coming and enjoying it. So beautiful. Right behind me is a banyan tree. It's so cool. We finished with the garden, but Vivian's still taking a nap, and we don't want to disturb Dad because that'll ruin the rest of the day. So we're gonna walk back to the car and uh, get our cell phones recharged a little bit, and um, then maybe we'll be ready to go again in just a little while. Okay, so we are going to exit for a little bit. We're gonna see if we can grab a uh, coffee while we, uh, well, she's gonna get some coffee. And then uh, maybe I can get a snack while we're out. And we're gonna check to see if they'll let us back in. We found it! I found the Starbucks. <laughs> we got some caffeine and we'll keep on going. Yeah. My coffee and I got a straw, which is even better because usually they don't have straws anymore. And now a snack for me. So we're ready to theme park it up again. When we were exiting, we asked them um, if we could re-enter and they said all we have to do is show them the tickets that they scanned earlier today. So hopefully that's accurate and simple. And then also we have the receipt for where we parked. So hopefully we'll we can, can let us yes. Without paying $25. All right, so we were able to get back into the parking lot. We are so fascinated by the Legoland Hotel, so we're gonna go like take a look inside the lobby. I'm gonna try to get in. <laughs> yes, it's just so colorful. Okay, so it was a little easier to get back in than yeah, we expected. They make it super easy to get back into the park. What I'm liking this far is as we walk back into the park, it is not nearly as crowded as it was earlier yes. today. Oh, it's 4.30 p.m. and the pizza place is wide open, no lines. There were lines all day, but now no line. This is fantastic. Okay, there's hardly any line for the carousel in comparison to earlier, so that's awesome. Hardly any line for the tractors now. There's just a really short line and uh, looking a lot better, looking a lot better. All right, we're gonna go ride the train. Here we go. 
Riding the train. It's gonna be fun. Finally on the train. Vivi, can you wave? Two laps around and we're done. Thank you. All right, Vivian, we're going this way. At this point, it's only an hour, a little less than an hour before the park closes for the day. And we really haven't seen most of the park because we spent a greater portion of the day standing in Waiting line in for line. <laughs> those uh, rides. But mostly though, looking for lunch. That took the oh. longest time of the whole day. So we're gonna see what else there is to do. This is another playground that's closed because of COVID. Yay. The Battle of Bricksburg ride looks like it would be a lot of fun. I think it's some kind of like competition, but it's with like squirt guns and stuff like yeah. that. So we have a lot of water if we can help it. <laughs> just playing to get wet if you come. Yeah. The taco place is closed. Surprise, surprise. I'm guessing it maybe would have like closed for the day, but who knows if it was even open earlier. Go figure. The line for these turkey drumsticks has been really long all so, day so, long. so that must mean that they must be really good our key gonna, sticks are amazing i'm gonna have to I've get had one, one. all right never mind that restaurant just closed for the day closed. all right on to the next thing yay we found one she can ride she can ride this one Who's still in the treasure of the temple? We need to catch up with this figurine. She's locked there to help us. Hi, hi. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I really don't. Oh, hi, Steve. You have to pull this off. <laughs> I think it's off. <laughs> it took me until just now on the ride to figure out that you, you have to pick this up to shoot at the red target. <laughs> Here's another playground that's closed due to COVID. Come over here, we gotta see if we can measure. Right there. All right. All right. Oh, he's gotta stand. Right at 34. Yes.
Inside the Legoland Hotel is a family style buffet restaurant and we're going to check to make sure it's not too crowded but that's where we hope we can have dinner this evening. And final lesson is that this restaurant is now to go only so you can take it out to your room or to the pool or whatever. So. We're going to go to another restaurant that's right across the street. Okay, so we noticed when we left the park earlier that there's a Mexican restaurant that's just down the road from the, uh, from the park. And I guess everybody else noticed that too, because when we came in, uh, it looks like that the whole parking lot is full, so we had to park in some overflow parking down in like a lower parking lot. And it looks like it's going to be a long wait. I'm hoping that means that the restaurant is really popular and that the food is really good. So they told us it was going to be about a 30 minute wait and we feel like that's not too bad. Yeah, at least at a Mexican restaurant you get chips and salsa while you wait for your food so we like that. If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida. Yeah.